Hello everybody and welcome back to a uh, video. Um, today's video I'm not going fishing unfortunately, but I am going to do what is inside my travel, travel tackle. So um, this is the Ozark Trail outdoor equipment tackle bag. Came with three trays. Uh, it's ten dollars at Walmart. A little cheap. It's pretty good. I have a. Uh, Tissues. This is just in like the little front pocket right there. Just got some tissues. Heavy size carabiner because you always need a carabiner with you. I have these uh bullet weights. Well, I call them slip sinkers, but they're they're I call them bullet weights. Now. I have a uh, I think there's five in here. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five. Two ot eagle claw needle point wide gap worm. Like I said, their size, if you see size two ot twenties five in the back. This is perfect way how to rig them. This thing says an egg sinker. I might use an egg sinker. I always use bullet weights. I actually don't have any egg sinkers anyway. So in the side pocket, I have two things. I have gulp for trout fishing, in case I go on like an emergency trout. And then I have a 12 foot uh, measuring tape. Other side, I have this travel first aid kit. And uh, inside we have line cutters, flint and steel, This, I put like pills in if I need them, like painkillers or something. Don't want to put them in there yet. If I go on like a camping trip though, I'll put them in there. This guy's good because you can go on your hip or just put them on your bag, but I keep them in my tackle bag. Um, that's all for in there. Now, those were the side pockets. Now we're going to open the top. So in the top, first thing I have is a paper and pen. Always want to have a paper and pen with you when you go out. And you just list, you know, sometimes you're at the date or the time of, like, if you have to make a tourniquet, stuff like that. On here, or in here, I have scissors. This braided line, you can use a knife. The scissors gives you more of, like, a clean cut, and it's quicker, because you can't really cut braided line with toenail clippers when you can't. It takes forever. And then I have my essential river plastics bag if I just need something quick come in here or if I'm just going on like a little river trip I'll just usually do like that. I have super chunks. And then I have Stripe King. They're called a shimmy stick. They're uh, 18 no 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 sorry not 18 inch they're probably like 18 centimeter. Anyway seven pack of warmer and red black worm. Pretty cool warmer. I like using it's like the best bassler if you use that. Put the uh, bullet weights on a Texas rig with a red hook. You're set. Anyway, now moving on to the trays on the inside of the bag. That was in this little mesh part in the lid. Uh, we have my soft plastic. And so what I have is kind of like um, up here I just have Senkos. Usually I just have regular Senkos and a couple more socks. Down here I have some more Senkos as you can see. Some white belly Senkos, some black Senkos. I just kind of like tailed worms, flukes, and uh, paddle tails over there. I have this, um, some more uh, bullet weights, some little claw kind of guys, and then some red hooks. Some of the red hooks like to fly out and go nowhere else. So there's one on the soft plastics and then one I lost yesterday. So that's that box. Next box is my kind of a cloth crank box. But I have a couple jeans in there and some paddle tails and treasure hooks just because I needed the room. But um, if you guys want to look at the tackles, what I keep in here is this Matsuro, this Matsuro lipless crank. Kind of like a kind of like a sexy bag. I call it sexy bag. But um, next we have a uh, square bow. 
kind of like a bass imitation, like small bass bait fish imitation bait there. Um, we have our crimson red. This kind of thing was made to kind of imitate the claws and stuff because as you can see the design on the side is kind of like a cryptic kind of claw, claw dab. So if you just work it and it kind of goes like that and you just work it like that, it kind of looks like a claw dipping through the water. And then this guy I call either daddy crank or a big bell crankbait because there's the crankbait. It's a little Matsuo. Got this one a couple days ago. But look at the bill. It has a huge heavy action on it. And then <clears throat> I have a swim jig here and a regular jig with a super chunk. You always want to trim your skirt. It just makes it move through the water much better. When you get that pause, you really get the tentacle. It looks kind of like tentacles going or something. Let me take this bait fish really well. And just some treble hooks for some Nevo space. I don't even know why I have them in here. I just need, <clears throat> need to put stuff in there. And this is my top water box right here. So in my top water box, I have a nice white buzz bait. Nice little buzz there. I have <clears throat> a chartreuse and kind of like a dark green head. Uh, another buzz bait there. And then I have, of course, you would need this in your tackle. It's the one for hunt frog. Because unlike other frogs with skirts, this frog, its legs actually look like they're hopping when you walk it. So that's, that's good. We really, really need all those in the tackle box. Here, <clears throat> we have a shad colored crankbait. It's pretty large size bill for the length. Well, I kind of already did. I kind of long talk about here. This crankbait is kind of cool. On the bottom it says Cordell Crazy Shad. That's what this is called, a Crazy Shad. As you see, it's a regular crankbait, but it has this little spin on the back. A little spin on the back. That's when it kind of goes crazy in the water. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and then we have the hidden, or the headen. Sorry, the, no, the heated Zara Puppy Spook. Put some red hooks on there. Red hooks are really good. It kind of makes it look like the fish or the bait fish is bleeding out of its stomach, which is good because then the fish knows it's an easy target. Especially in the top water. This little sexy shad kind of jerk bait there. And then we have, last but not least, a nice hula popper. Gotta change out the hook on this guy. We're gonna put probably one of these red hooks on there. Maybe something a bit bigger. <clears throat> this guy's a nice skirt. Nice little bait fish imitation there. So, that is what I keep in my just like to go bait box. Super chunks, soft plastics, go up. Oh yeah, my river bag and those super chunks go up in this little mesh pocket, along with the scissors. Scissors go up there too. So you can keep those guys up there. This little front pocket here. Here. I'm keeping them in this order. Hooks. Weights. Tissues. Just pop them on in there. And then on this right side over here with the little plier hole, I keep my travel first aid kit. Fits like a glove. It's like an absolute perfect fit. Stupid thing you get out of the way. I'm gonna hope that zips would actually come out a little bit. There we go. I hate it when the zippers get caught and stuff. There we go. That guy goes over there. On the other side, I keep this 12 foot along with that. Just pop them on in there. They fit pretty well together, if you ask me. So, those are in there. And I forgot about it, but I also keep this carabiner in the front pocket up here. So, that is that. 
That is what is inside my tackle bag. Hope you did enjoy this video. Now, the video in the front. I can explain it, okay? That video is complete trash. It was in January. We didn't know what we were doing. It was complete trash. I didn't even bait cast yet. Now I do. I know what I'm doing. I know how to actually use the baits now. So, oh, not January this year. January last year, I believe. I was getting kind of like new to all these new baits and stuff. I used to use the old classics, but now we're using this stuff. And I was just being dumb. I was joking around with a friend, you know. So I apologize for that. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Be right there, like and subscribe. Um, and just consider joining the family. We're gonna have fishing videos come out probably every couple of days or so. Yeah. So see you all next time. Peace. See you all next time. Bump it. Okay. That's the end.